welcome back everyone to simple flash music player part 3 video ok in this video tutorial I am going to concentrate on creating a volume control and pan control first of all I need space in my uh, music player for that I am increasing the height of the project ok my height is 300 now I am going to add two slider one is for volume control another one is for fan control you can go to windows and components otherwise you can use control plus f7 drag the slider into your project okay. then go to the text tool and select the text tool change the t change the type of the text into static text and type volume this is just a label ok just a label ok just I am copying this volume to uh, this side and this side ok now change the text this one is right side this one is left side I am sorry left side ok now place this lift on the left side of the slider and right side of the slider ok now I am sorry ok ok now you go to the text tool and change the text type into dynamic text ok this is for showing the volume the value of the volume ok set the instance name as txt volume so I think as you know already what is the use of um, instance name ok instance name is used to access the control whatever control it is no problem access the control in the coding ok oh I placed all the controls in the stuff oh sorry AS3 layer just cut all the stuff and uh, paste it on the <coughs> stuff layer ok ok text volume and uh, give the instance names instance name to volume slider ok instance name for the slider 1 and slider 2 is uh, pan slider ok first ok in AS 3.0 the maximum value of the sound is 1 the minimum sound value is 0 ok in between we have 0 0.1 0 0.2 up to 0 0.99 1.0 ok so the minimum value is 0 the maximum value is 1 so the snap interval you just set 0 0.01 ok so this is over and come to the pan control in pan control the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1 if the value is 0 means the sound will be uh, played on the two speakers in equal equal uh, equals uh, equal volume if uh, the if the pan val value is 1 means the sound only played on the right, si right, uh, right side speaker if the value is minus 1 means the value uh, the sound will be played on the left speaker ok uh, give the same, same snap interval 0 0.01 tick no problem leave all the thing ok ok now I am going to add an event listener for those two sliders ok first one is volume slider add event listener uh, listener ok listener event dot event dot change volume control is my function and uh, pan slider add event listener for pan slider Okay, the event change event 
be fan controlled. At the starting of the uh, project, we have to initialize some value to the volume slider and uh, pan slider to everything. Okay, first we just initialize the value wall. Uh, sorry, slider. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Volume slider. Volume slider dot value equal to uh, zero point five. Okay, that means of off, off sound uh, that is fifty percentage of the sound. Okay. Now I am going to write the function. Function volume control event void. Okay. Now create a sound transform object. Okay, the sound transform object is used to change the volume and change the pan. Okay. Now you just write C dot <coughs> sound transform equal to new sound transform of you just give the value of the sound. Okay. The value will be in the volume slider. Just use that control volume slider dot value okay that's it and uh, we have to show the value of the volume in the text box for that you just use txt volume dot text equal to uh, it always returns the value that is the sound always return the value between 0 and 1 but we need some round value that is 0 to 100 for that you just multiply the value with 100 volume slider dot value into 100 ok now we are assigning this value to the text box for that you just convert this text into uh, integer value sorry numerical value into string for that I am using the to string function ok copy this code and uh, paste it here ok and uh, copy this code and place it on the uh, play song play song event ok because when you are uh, <coughs> playing the song for the first time uh, it it should start with the same uh, sound okay for that i'm using that code okay now this is one for function fan control type is event this for the function is going to turn void value this is all you know okay now i'm going to add i'm using the same code but the small change is sound dot transform equal to new sound transform okay give the volume uh, volume slider here same code oh sorry dot value then you give the panning panning value okay uh, the pan value will be in pan slider dot value okay now check the movie by pressing control plus enter Okay, I'm playing the music. Okay, it's working properly. Now we will check the pan control, okay? Okay, the song is now playing only on the left right side. Okay. When you put this on center, the sound will be played on both speakers. Now it will be only on left side. Okay. This is all about creating a volume control and pan control in Flash Action Script 3.0. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you.